Uber and Lyft drivers, it's one thing to let people ride in your car, but would you let a stranger drive it? Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, Mark here from uberhints.com. I was sitting back in my wingback chair. All right, it's not mine, I'm in a hotel. And I was having a cup of joe this morning, reading the newspaper, and I came across an interesting article. In fact, once I read this article, I went online and it's popping up everywhere, so apparently GM released this today. They released this press release to break today. And the headline says, GM vehicle owners could make some cash with car sharing app. Now I know that peer-to-peer -peer car sharing is nothing new, but it looks like now a major league company, General Motors, is getting behind it. The interesting thing is, they're only allowing it with General Motors vehicles. So let's read and see what this is actually all about. Uh, it says here, People who own or lease late model Chevrolet, Buick, GM, or Cadillac in some Midwest cities now don't have to just let it sit idle in a parking lot. They can put that car to work making money. General Motors Mobility, you know, you like that, they actually have a mobility unit that handles their peer-to-peer -peer sharing. I'm sorry if you're hearing the newspaper crinkling, but I'm getting this out of the newspaper article. Uh, said it's testing a new peer-to-peer -peer car sharing offering through the Maven app in Chicago, Detroit, Ann Arbor, and other select cities. I have to admit, aside from what I uncovered today, I'm not real familiar with the Maven app, but apparently it is an hourly, daily, weekly car rental service where you have the app, you find the car, you see the price, you go and pick it up, unlock it with the app, pay for it with the app, and return it. I don't know what the advantage is over going to Enterprise or Hertz, but apparently it's a system that's been working since 2016. However, what they're introducing is this peer-to-peer -peer system where I can now register my car in the system and make money. But let's read on. The service, Peer Cars, that's what it's called, allows those who own or lease a 2015 model or newer GM vehicle, again, only a GM vehicle, can list their vehicle with the Maven app for rent to others when it's not being used. The owner keeps 60%, actually it says, yeah, 60% of the revenue, Maven gets the rest. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, is, is this uh, Uber version two, where they're taking 40% of something I own just to hook me up through the app, but let's continue. Uh, it says the, the idea is similar to Airbnb, Air uh, Bed and Breakfast, which allows us to rent our homes out. And Julia Stein, who's the vice president of GM Urban Mobility, compared it to that. And she says people put their house on a platform and cars are far less personal. Well, maybe but someone's not going to crash my house into a tree. So Stein said the car is one of the most expensive things we have. That's true, outside of my house, my car is probably the most expensive thing I own and leaving it sit idle is a wasted asset. So Maven is now available in 15 cities and they're rolling out the peer-to-peer uh, -peer option in Chicago, Ann Arbor, and Detroit. So we'll see how it goes. So to give you a little insight on how it works, peer cars will work the same way that Maven does. A person looking to rent a vehicle will go to the Maven app, select a car they like, uh, goes to the car's location and uses their car, uh, using their app to unlock the car. And off you go, says Stein. Um, it goes on to say, that in order to do this, you have to get registered with the platform. They're going to, you have to give your, your VIN number, your vehicle identification number. I guess if I say VIN and I say number, that's like saying vehicle identification, identification number, number. So you give them your VIN, no number. And they will check and see if it qualifies. It's a GM vehicle, it's 2015 and newer and so on. Then it says, we come out and take pictures of the car and install the accessories that allow a phone to open the car. Do you want 
some third-party app to have control over how your car gets opened? I think that's a big question. If you answer nothing else, leave that one down below because I think that's huge. It's my personal vehicle and I may not want to be renting it all the time, but yet they have just installed equipment so they can unlock my vehicle with an app. I don't know. Let's go on. The owner chooses how or when they put their vehicle on the platform. Maven offers owners a suggested price range for their car rental, which will be about 20% more or less than Maven's other rental car prices. So what it's saying, Maven already has their own cars on the platform and they're going to um, give us a price that's in keeping with the rentals that they have available. So 20% more or less, I don't know if that's going to be dependent upon your car, the value, the price, the condition, that type of thing. Uh, it's not really competing with Maven Rentals. It's an opportunity to offer more supply for the demand we see. Well, of course, if they can rent cars and not have to deal with, with the upkeep and, um, you know, storage and all that, I mean, that's a pretty sweet deal for them, isn't it? So this is the interesting part to me. During the reservations, all vehicles are insured through GM's $1 million insurance policy, GM said. Kind of similar to Uber, right? Only I am not... Uh, personally responsible any longer because I'm not driving. It's just the vehicle. I don't think I can be held responsible if my vehicle gets in an accident and I wasn't behind the wheel. All I am concerned about is property damage, correct? Hmm, or am I missing something? I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, million dollar insurance policy. Also, every driving member must be vetted by GM and the driver is approved to use the service. So that's good. A lot of you say, boy, we should really have some kind of a vetting process for the riders in Uber and Lyft. Well, they're doing it with this rental process. It's not just any yo-yo that's going to be able to uh, get this service. You have to go through them and, and have some kind of a check, apparently. Now, we don't know what that check is. You know, is it if you can fog a mirror, you can use the, the service? We don't know. But they do say that they're vetted. So owner support is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week from trained Maven and OnStar advisors. I wonder if they get the same training that the Uber support people get. There's one last paragraph here. Maven's team will analyze the data from the peer car test group. That's what's going on in Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Chicago and uh, uh, see how they're gonna roll it out to other cities or if they will. So they are beta testing this. My question to you is, do you want someone else driving your car? Now, what's going on in my head, so 2015 is the time I'm making this taping, it's 2018, midway through the year, July. So that means cars that are two, three and a half years old, up to three and a half years old, could even be older depending how much they update that uh, age of the vehicles. I can pick up a good condition 2015 car if I'm smart for a pretty good price. So maybe then rent out my personal car. I could essentially get into the car rental business. Now I wonder what my personal insurer would have to say about that. Of course, if I never drive the car, if I use it solely for peer-to-peer, -peer, could that be profitable? That's what's going on in my mind. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. It is different than rideshare, but it's related. And I know some people have tried this. I know some UberTubers have done this. I believe that the, um, the vlogger formerly known as Uberman, I believe did something similar, didn't he? have a car rental. I don't know how, how that worked out for him. But if you're insured and um, it's, you know, that that's a thing. I, I wouldn't want it to be with my personal car, but if I bought a car just for that as an investment, I wonder if it would work out. Even if you broke even, when you're done, you have a car that's paid off for that you can sell. Just some thoughts that are rattling in my tiny little shriveled up brain. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Leave your comments down below as always. I love it when you like the videos, when you share the videos. And if you haven't already, 
when you subscribe. I'm Mark with a rinse.